Hey guys, welcome to Draw with Sandy at the Little Artistic Nook. Today we'll be drawing this cute little ladybird. To start your drawing, come towards the top left of your paper and begin by drawing out a nice oval shape for your ladybird's first eye. You can create the highlight by drawing a big curve along the top and a small heart underneath and shading in around these spaces. Then trace over the top of the eye and create a little eyelid or eyelashes coming out to the right. Next, we'll do a second eye just to the left, same size or at least as close as you can and once again drawing a nice big curve at the top for the first highlight and a small heart underneath that. This time we'll trace over the top and pull the eyelashes out to the left. Next, we'll draw in our cheeks by coming to the bottom edge of the eye and drawing out a curved line all the way underneath and then closing it over on the other side. We'll give our ladybird a cute little open mouth smile by drawing a small curve between the cheeks and placing a U from one end. And you can make a little curve or just color the top part of that U black so that it looks like she's got a little tongue then add two little eyebrows just above her eyes. Now I'm going to just find the center of the head and place a little dot and I'm going to start drawing a circular shape all the way around the face to create her head. So you're just going to come towards the outside edges of the cheeks and I usually like the bottom of my head to just be a little bit closer to the bottom of her face and the top of the head to be a little bit higher. And let's not forget those little antenna, so I'm just going to draw some curved lines, topping them with little circles, sort of falling to the left side. And they're just about right above the eyebrows. To start preparing to draw her body, I'm going to give myself some guidelines. First drawing one sort of towards the right side of my page, underneath that cheek, and one coming up towards the top above the eye. Then from that top marker, I'm going to draw a nice big curve over towards the right side of the page. And this curve is higher than the top of her head. And as I come across, I'm going to start bringing that line back down as if you're drawing out a nice big mountain shape. Then you can come to your bottom marker, which is on a slight angle, and we'll just draw a really shallow curve back towards our top line. Then you can trace along that bottom line and as you come about halfway you can start to extend a line just a little bit below her body here and we're going to just draw out a little wing by curving it back towards the back of her body. Then we'll come to the top of the body and we'll draw another line that just starts to separate as we come towards the wing and draw a second wing just underneath it. And of course, we're going to add in those classic spots that we always see on our little ladybirds by just drawing out some nice big circles on her back. So I'm going to just make maybe three and I'm going to have them, they're big, but not necessarily all the same size. And now to give her some feet, I'm going to come just to where the body meets the head and draw out a straight little line and make a little hook towards the left for her foot. Then you can draw another straight line back up towards her body. We'll make another leg here just behind that. This time we'll take the angle towards the bottom right and then drawing out a little hook once again for her foot and then making that second line back up towards the body. And I'm going to put one tiny little foot here near her back wing, so not as much leg will be showing, but just a little tiny foot coming out from underneath. And I think the perfect thing for our little ladybird to be standing on is a nice big leaf. 
So I'm going to start by drawing out my leaf here just in front of the foot and I'm going to sweep a line or curve down towards the left side of my page. And I'm going to bring it back underneath her body making sure to go in between any spaces in the legs and I'm going to imagine it coming out just from behind her wings. So your leaf can take any shape you want but I'm just basically making some nice curved lines. And coming back to the front of my leaf, I'm going to create a point here at the end and I'm going to start curving my line in the opposite direction. So we want it to be nice and wide across the center of the page. And as I come over towards the right, I'm going to bring that line up closer and I'm going to taper it off and we'll create a little stem here at the end. And finally, so that our ladybird looks like she's walking on the flat surface of our leaf, I'm going to just trace along the bottom line here and eventually I'm going to bring a curve back up in towards the center of the leaf to give our leaf the illusion of a little folded edge. You can make this curve as big as you want and then just make it meet up with the bottom of your leaf. And that is our cute little ladybird guys. Thanks so much for drawing with me today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And until next time for another Draw with Sandy at the Little Artistic Nook, keep making art and keep smiling.